build tiny homes in The Sims 4 inspired by different flavors. We're gonna use the randomizer to figure out which flavors we're gonna be using, except for the first one. I want the first one to be sweet. The reasoning? I just want to build a gingerbread house. So all the houses we're gonna build here, we're gonna do at least three, like two in the back there, one at the front. So this entire tiny home village is going to be inspired by flavors. So for the first one, I think I want to go with just like a generic shape. I'm looking at some of these ones, just like basic gingerbread shape. But then you get into some of these ones, like look at this. Oh my gosh, look at these ones down here. I cannot make a regular gingerbread house for the life of me. So this is actually very impressive. Like, are you kidding me? Let's do something cute like this one. So it's gonna be a very basic shell out here for gingerbread house number one. We can pull this to the back a little bit just so we have a little more space on the inside. Our roofing is gonna be so easy for this one. It's just gonna be one gabled roof piece and we'll pull it all the way to the back just so it's covering. Maybe we can lower it just a little bit by like one tick even, maybe one more. And I do wanna add those other roofing pieces at the top. So I'm gonna go and get maybe this cottage living one or we could try strangerville i don't really use this one too often but i'm gonna shrink it i like how it's covering up the top with the snow okay now we need to get our gingerbread color on the wallpaper it's kind of looking like this here from journey to batu like we want it to resemble the actual gingerbread so i actually think that's pretty close for our door let's maybe keep with the cottage living we could do that one or even like this one here this tree is putting off such a crazy shadow so i have my windows on there right now it is looking so boring Boring. We need to spruce this up a little bit. We're gonna add a chimney here in the back. I know that in Dine Out, there's a wall decal that kind of looks like icing. These ones here, sometimes you can go in and add this here and it looks like icing. So I'm gonna start to add that maybe going around my door here. We'll do it on each side. I can even like shrink this if we want to. I actually think I might prefer it if we make it a little bit smaller. Thinking of the flavors, obviously the sugar icing is pretty much as sweet as you can get. <laughs> and we'll probably be using a lot of debug today. Like, like all the debug treats in there. Oh, and these, these are in base game debug and I've used these before. They kind of look like candy canes in a way, like the very colorful ones. So I'm just gonna take out a bunch and put them right here. Basically just so that I can move them without having to go back and find them in debug later. Oh, and these, I was looking for these. These look like little gumdrops. So I'm actually gonna move everything out of the way here and I'm gonna use these to make a path. So maybe I'll just use like the two colors. Maybe we can bring some purple in there. Actually, screw it. Let's just do all of those and we'll make a pattern, but I'm gonna bring it all the way out here so we're building a pathway with it. So now we have our pathway there. I also added these overhangs here from Get to Work. I'm gonna go in and add these fairy lights here along our pathway. I'm also using these here on the side. These are from base game as well. It looks like those sugar cubes kind of that you would like put in your coffee. So just shoving those into the column and like stacking them up one by one. This is kind of time consuming, I will not lie. But there is the one side coming along. I've just kind of been trying things out, seeing what I like on this build. So I added some debug lights up there. I might trace around like the windows with the lights too. I haven't decided yet. I think I'm also gonna put some along the door, maybe not along the top, but just on the sides here. And I'm having to like make this stuff bigger too every time. <laughs> It'll be worth it in the end. I'm lining the sides again here with our icing from Dine Out. And I've changed the roofing back to like just a more basic gabled roof at the top. Just because now we can go up there and decorate that a little bit more than we could with the Strangerville ones. Okay, so here we are with all of the icing that I added. We are also going to do some landscaping with ice cream cones. These are debug from Cool Kitchen and I'm basically just going to treat them as like bushes and trees and <laughs> landscape accordingly. We could probably also do this with cupcakes, but I'm basically just picking some of these, putting them at the front. These might get like kind of gross. I'm not really sure how this would be in game, but for the purposes of our challenge, this this is gonna look kind of cute, I think. Like these can be the bushes here, these cupcakes. That looks kind of cute. And then on this side, I wanna do like a little ice cream tree. Okay, so this is our gingerbread house, our sweet flavor. There is so much detail on this thing. This took quite some time to put together, but here we are. Let's go inside and figure out what we're gonna do for the interior. So for the inside, I'm thinking we use this wallpaper here from the pastel pop kit. We've got strawberries on there, nice sweet fruit. Maybe we can 
even change it up on some sides and do like an accent wall on one. I think we should do the heart bed over here, but we need to keep in mind all the stuff that we've done with like the candy on the outside. I definitely want to bring that in too. Oh my gosh, we should use one of these macaroons here as an end table. I'm gonna size that up. It could actually even be a poof. I'm really interested to see if this stuff is gonna go bad. A lot of it is debug, so I'm thinking we maybe have a chance for it not to. I wonder if there's a mod to download to stop that. There probably is. There's a mod for everything these days. But on top of this, we could put like maybe a lava lamp there. Oh, we have the ice cream rug too. I think also with the pastel pop kit, we could put this around the bed. We also have the crackers in here, but I wanna save that for when we do like a salty house, if that happens. Although they would look really cute in here. Ooh, Tiny Living has the cupcake pictures. Like these here, there's a bunch of different ones. I'm gonna do maybe just two stacked on top of each other here. Two cupcake pictures like that. We're gonna put a dresser over on this side. I have to be careful though, because I still need to save room for my kitchen. So maybe we should do that. Get that out of the way, just to make sure that we have it. And we're gonna go colorful with this. I'm gonna use a yellow fridge here. We're gonna use some country kitchen counters in pink. We need our essentials, so I'll do sink there. Maybe I'll leave that one there for prep and our oven can go on this side, which I'm thinking I might change my fridge over to cottage living just so that I can match that like peachy color. I really wanna be able to fit the cupcake machine in here. That thing is so big though, I could maybe do like a basement. I'm adding some shelving up above my fridge like that and in there I wanna add some baking supplies. I think Get to Work has a lot of it. We've got these baking decorations here. I'm gonna size them up a little bit. There's like sprinkles and candy in there. There is literally like a candy jar here. It's from Spooky Stuff and it's a really fun item but I hate the swatches on the outside for the purposes of this. I mean, if we make it orange and put it up in that shelf, it does match the wallpaper. We're celebrating multiple holidays here. Oh, I forgot about these too. These are from Paranormal. We can put these up top. Maybe I can put some on top of the fridge too. I'm actually using these counters here from Snowy Escape instead so that I can add more like cupcakes down there or candy jars. There's also like Easter eggs. Um, Again, we're just celebrating all the holidays. <laughs> and maybe we'll bring in some gumdrops down there too from outside. They have a gumdrop garden. Wait, that's actually so cute. <laughs> what if we literally put some planters outside and then came out here and added like gumdrops growing out of the garden. I love that. That one's not quite growing yet. <laughs> okay, so now we have our gumdrop garden, our candy and everything inside the house. We could add a baking book in here. I mean, I guess you could make things that weren't sweet when you're baking, but this person bakes like cookies and cupcakes. We could put the cupcake machine like literally right in the corner here, but it's so big. It's literally covering the door if we do that. I mean, I might keep it. I might put it in the basement. I'll just put it over here for now. Maybe instead we could do an ice cream maker. This right here comes with cool kitchen. We'll put it in the corner like that. Then your Sims can make their own ice cream. Okay, so we have our really sweet kitchen, pun intended. So much candy in here. All of the sweet things I could find. We also have the candy jar up there. We're gonna make a living room over on this side and I might add like a ladder just for the cupcake machine. We'll build a basement. It's gonna be very small. It's literally just gonna be big enough for the cupcake machine. I've got a ladder there and now down below, hopefully I'll be able to fit this thing. Honestly, I feel like this village is going to be made for chefs. This can be where all of the cooks, the chefs, everyone in the Sims like town who cooks anything <laughs> lives in this village. And since each home is gonna have a different sort of like taste to it, maybe this can be like a cooking retreat. Each house is gonna have a different sort of delicacy, a different taste to it. So depending on which kind of like cook you wanna be, that will determine which house you stay in. It's like Harry Potter, but for chefs. <laughs> I think for that reason, I'm gonna make sure we have a bookshelf here. Your Sims can learn to cook through reading the books. They can actually cook themselves, not cook them, cook things themselves, like cook things, not light themselves on fire, which reminds me, we don't have a smoke detector. Rule number one in our cooking course here, friends, you need a smoke detector and make sure it works. A life rule as well.
Okay, I added another ice cream cone over there just for decor. A chair here. We've got our TV, our bookshelf. Maybe we can put like a speaker in there too. And I should have room for like a small dining table here. Maybe we'll see if I can fit like a couple chairs right here. Okay, so here is our sweet candy inspired house. Our bedroom over there with our macaroon end table and our ice cream cone lamp. <laughs> I'm gonna literally hide a lamp in there. <laughs> She's glowing. We have our reading area. You can learn to cook. You can go downstairs and use the cupcake machine. Get that baking skill up. Maybe the Sim owns a bakery. On this side, we have our dining room slash kitchen. So much candy here. Your Sims are gonna have to um, really make sure they go to the dentist. Let's do the bathroom over here. Then we can move on to the next one. And I think in here, we're just gonna keep with the theme. We'll do like pink flooring, maybe a different color like pastel wallpaper for in here. I'm gonna use that funky mirror there. We'll do a bathtub on that side, a little bath mat right there, some robes, maybe some hanging plants in here just so there's like something going on. And there we go. There is our sweet bathroom. I'm excited to see the contrast between all of these ones. Like obviously this one's very colorful, very pastel. I wonder what the next one's gonna look like. Okay, let's move on from our sweet gingerbread house number one. And to the wheel, let's see what we're gonna get. So for the second one, we're gonna do spicy. I was hoping we would get this one. Okay, let's do spicy over here to the left. I'm just gonna flatten my terrain a little bit using the flatten terrain tool. Just going off where the stairs are, we're gonna just level this out a little bit, making sure we're gonna have a nice, even, flat ground for our house here. And I think this house might end up being on a diagonal. So I think I'm going to start off going this way. Being on a diagonal, we do lose a little bit of space though. So maybe we'll bring out the front a little bit. So it'll kind of come out there like that. We can do our front door here. We we could even do some stairs at the front here and then when we roof it, we could have like an overhang. And we're gonna notice here that as we go, each house is gonna have some colors associated with it. So when you think of spice, you think of like red, orange, yellow, like colors of literal fire. So that's what we're gonna do. I think in order to keep this neighborhood looking cohesive, I'm gonna try and go with an orange for the exterior. I think a red might end up being a little bit too harsh and for some reason, red just keeps popping up in my builds lately. It's kind of a color I like to avoid when building because it can just be so drastic and hard to match in my opinion. Even in my own house when I'm like decorating, I'm notorious for being like, we cannot have any red in here. It's a personal preference. I'm thinking we do an overhang here. So I'm gonna go in with a half gabled roof piece and just pull that across this way. We'll have some columns here holding this up. Our roofing going this way might be a little bit difficult because we have to use these ones, like the diagonal roof pieces. I actually don't hate that roofing there like that. I thought I wasn't gonna like it. It looks like a little modern cottage back there. We gotta bring in the spice though. We need to add a little bit of spice. So the pack for spicy foods is city living. When you go to the festivals, you can try things with different levels of spice. Your Sims need to like get used to the spicy flavors sometimes. So those there kind of look like spicy peppers, even though they're not, they're just like little lights, but they do give off that vibe. <laughs> I'm gonna put that there, attach it onto that column. Maybe if we use this shade of red here from Cottage Living, it's not so bad. So I'm gonna take those same shutters over to the back here. I like how we have like the brown incorporated in there. I'm adding spandrels on here at the front and I think they look cute. They add a little extra detail. We've got our chimney up there. I wanted to make this look like a spicy gingerbread house, but how do we do that? Let's see what kind of details we can put on the outside. Like how gross would a spicy gingerbread house be? This says spicy treat. I could maybe size it up and put it at the front here. I don't know what would be in there. Like cayenne pepper? Spicy treat at the front door right when you walk in. We'll do a chair at the front there. Instead of having all of the icing. I'm using this spice here and this is going to be my column. We could even raise a lantern up and put it on top and then it's a very spicy display. <laughs> like a little lantern on top of there. This is ridiculous. Okay, we're gonna do some red landscaping around. So in the winter, I don't really have many options, but we do have that heart bush, a different kind of spice. We've got a tree around there and I think this is gonna be our spicy house on the outside. Let's go inside and figure out what we're gonna do on the interior. And I feel like this is gonna show it a 
lot better than the outside. Although our layout is gonna be really awkward. Okay, we need to figure out where we're gonna do our bathroom. I think our bathroom is just gonna be a three tile one right over here in the back. Open concept for the rest, I think. Some lighting so we can see what we're doing. And okay, let's figure out our flooring and wallpaper. Going again with the red and orange. What can we do here? We have a, quite a few different like shades of red. I actually don't mind that combination. I think that's just a base game wood there with this one from the Oasis Courtyard kit. We could also do like a little bit of that there to show like the fire, the spice, depending on how it goes. Let's first figure out the kitchen. So I think I'm gonna put that maybe over in this corner here. So we could do like orange fridge. I'm gonna try and do something similar to what we did in the sweet house where there's an element of something special that they can learn how to cook spicy food. So our kitchen can wrap around the back like that. I'm using counters from Island Living. I'm replacing those windows that we had there with some smaller ones so we're not covering anything. Ooh, there is chili powder. Okay, I was kind of looking for this. I'm gonna just put a whole bunch of these out here right now. Oh my gosh, wasabi, yes. What's this one? Curry, okay. I'm gonna fill my kitchen with those. Maybe we'll change it up this time. We'll do some open shelving and put all of those up there. So maybe we'll do one of each big one like up at the top here. I am personally a huge fan of spicy food, more so than sweet stuff. So I think this one is probably gonna be like my dream foodie house. I am curious though, what is gonna be like the most preferred taste in the comments. So let me know what food dream house would be your dream house. Like if you were stuck in one of these houses and that was the only flavor you could ever have again, which one would it be? Actually also from Dine Out, we have these pot of peppers. Let's do peppers over there. Maybe we'll do one like orange one. I still need a sink. We can put that over here. We'll do some cutting boards. I think this is actually also a spice rack. All right, so this is gonna be our spicy kitchen. All of those spices up there, the hot peppers. We've got the spice racks over there too. I'm starting to go in this way. I think I could do like a dining table right here. Keeping with the theme here of yellow and orange. I've actually just sized down this little vase here and I'm gonna put that plant in here. I like the colors on there. I think that looks cute. I need like fire decor. Like I'm thinking about putting a fireplace over here. I do need to still make sure that I have room for my bed though. Maybe this is where we can put our bookshelf. This is where we can learn to cook spicy food. I'm gonna decorate here with these from City Living. Actually, this one looks cute too. Maybe we can do two of those. And actually, I'm thinking maybe we should move all of this stuff over here. So all of our like books and everything. I'm just gonna move that over into this corner instead because then I can put my bed over into that corner. I'm not really sure which one we're gonna go with yet. That one could look kind of cute over there. And then I wanna put a divider. And I think City Living does have a really cute one actually. This one here, if we could put it in red or even the yellow and then we do a red rug underneath. The red, orange, and yellow has really not been easy to match, but I think we're kind of coming along a little bit. Oh, there's literally this spicy pepper picture. Okay, I forgot. We're gonna have to put this maybe like right above the fridge. <laughs> okay, so far so good. I think I just need to find a chair maybe for like near our fireplace. Oh, that one there actually looks pretty good. Those chairs there are from Tiny Living. We also have like a couple different options we could do. I don't know. I like it in here. It's loud. It's definitely giving off like a fiery color palette. Tons of different patterns and everything going on in here, but somehow they still work. And definitely the perfect kitchen over there for our spice lover. All right, we just have to do the bathroom in here. We're gonna do red flooring like that. Ooh, maybe that orange there is kind of nice for my wedding stories. But we can do toilet right here. Our shower, we do have an orange one actually that comes with snowy escape, so that can go there. Maybe we'll move our window over a little bit and we'll do orange sink over there with a mirror on top. Okay, our bathroom here is complete. We've got our shower. We have all our essentials going on in here. And this has been our spicy house. Very, very different from the one we did over on the other side, like the contrast between the two. I feel like you could definitely tell which one is which though. We are ready to go back to the wheel. We're going to move on to the final house, which is going to be in the back. And let's go back to the wheel and see what our final tiny house is going to be. Fitting for the final time, we are going to do bitter. This is going to be hard. So when I think of bitter, I think of coffee coffee, like black coffee, unsweetened like chocolate. Let's go for a neutral kind of like brown tone. I might actually mimic the exact same shell on the other side so it's symmetrical. So we're gonna again flatten our terrain going near the stairs here. You can see there's like a little bit of a difference going up there. So we're just gonna flatten that out just to make sure we have a nice even base. We're gonna try and do the exact same house but flipped over here. So I'm gonna build out first our rectangle and then it comes off 
a little bit here. And then I think I extended it over a little bit that way. That looks pretty similar. That was surprisingly difficult for me in this early morning. But okay, now we're gonna have an even house there. We're gonna take the same roofing, put that on top like that. And then we can just kind of like fix up the wallpaper here. My favorite part of these tiny home build challenges in The Sims 4 are seeing the layout at the end of it. They always turn out so cool looking. Let's find a nice like brown color for the outside. Ooh, actually something like that could be nice. Kinda looks like chocolate, but again, we're going for like a dark chocolate, unsweetened, very bitter kind of chocolate. Personally, my favorite actually. <laughs> I love a dark chocolate. We are not going to put too much color on the exterior here. We're gonna go for very bland. Ooh, that actually looks really nice on the top there though. I'm gonna get on all the windows and doors and everything, and then we can figure out how we're gonna do like the food accents on the exterior. I'm going very simple with the decor that I'm using on the outside here. We'll do a plant on the outside. I wanna do another seating area over there. Or we could do a little like dining table kind of inspired by a cafe. So just like a table there and let's find all of our coffee stuff. If we could find a coffee bean and then we could go like along the outside like we did with the icing on this house, that would be kind of cool. Not sure how likely we're gonna be though. We will add some coffee beans on the table outside. Other bitter things could be like pickles, olives. I've got that coffee display right there. There has to be a coffee bean in debug here somewhere. There's like little espresso cups. I mean, we could do something with those. <laughs> Apparently this is an olive. I mean, it could also pass for like a coffee bean, I guess. Maybe we'll just do the one side, like stack them up here like we did with the icing on the sweet house. <laughs> Cause these are not looking like olives at all. Like these are olives gone bad. Okay, this one was even more difficult to get on there than the icing, but I actually don't hate it. As weird as they look, I know, but I, I don't mind. I would put them on all of them, but it's really hard to get those into place. So we just have the one olive coffee mountain over there. Let's go inside and figure out what we're gonna do in here. So again, this is probably gonna be the same as the other one with the layout. We'll do a three tile bathroom over here. All of these are open concept. I actually have a color in mind for the wallpaper. These here, I love using these colors, like this one or this one, giving off like the coffee, kind of like mocha vibes. Maybe we'll do accent wall here. We've been doing a lot of the accent walls today. And for the flooring, I'm thinking something like that. Or we could even try something like this too. And we'll use that one there from Snowy Escape for the bathroom. Okay, let's figure out how this is gonna look. My favorite part of this has been doing the kitchen. And I feel like the skill that we should do for this one should be for mixology. Instead of cooking in this one, we're gonna be making up some like coffee drinks. Maybe we'll replace those counters we did there with this bar from base game. We'll get the stools on there. Our shelves will go behind and that's where we can put a whole bunch of like the coffee bags. We could add some mugs on here, like just stack them up, make it look like a little coffee shop. Ooh, we should put like a chalkboard. Maybe just like leaning against there. Oh, we have some chilled coffee. We could have made columns with these outside. I'm gonna put this huge clock over here from get together. Something about it just like really fits in here. And we'll just add a couple more of these tools. Okay, now that we've got that area figured out, we can move on to the kitchen. Which I feel like the kitchen should be like not too far from there. And we can use the same base game counters that we used like that match the bar. These ones here, and I think it's gonna have to be a pretty small kitchen. Although I do want to put the espresso machine. We have to, that's like the whole point here. Okay, I figured it out. We're gonna do sink in the back there behind the bar, trash can here, our coffee maker here. So all of that is like nice and close. Then on the other side, we can do our fridge. We have a room for prep and we can do the stove. I put some cabinets up above our like fridge and everything. We are a little bit limited for like space that we can use that for though. So we might have to just leave that there. We could bring in another one of these on the inside, maybe a rug to like pull all that together. The Sims life just revolves around coffee. Okay, that looks cute over there. I like our bar area. Definitely something different than we've done today. We need to do a bedroom area, which is gonna have to squeeze back here. I could see us using that one there maybe, but hopefully we can fit it. Your Sims can still scoot back there if there's two of them. I didn't think we were gonna get a double bed in here, but here we are. We'll have to do a small dresser, probably just like a tiny living one over on the corner here. We can do a mirror right there. We'll do some like used coffee cups over on the side. And actually there are a couple like coffee pictures. I don't think these are gonna match like what I'm going for. Like there is this one here. Maybe they can put it by their bed. Like they're just dreaming of coffee every morning. We're gonna put a TV right above the bed and that's gonna be our bedroom area. We have just the bathroom to go in here. I'm just gonna match the same color palette that we've been using for this. We'll do a Discover University shower, our sink and our mirror right there. This kind of has like the coffee colors on there. We can do that. Maybe just a 
picture right there. And there we go. That is gonna be our bathroom in here. And this has been our bitter tiny home in The Sims 4. This is definitely my favorite area over here. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section down below. And if you have any ideas for videos you want to see in the future, let me know in the comment section down below as well. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.